What's going on guys? MG here. And I got a quick one for you. So we got Lux on deck. I thought I'd hit you guys with a video before we head off into the weekend. You know what I'm saying? We got Lux here, rank 174. LYXC, $14.57, down 0.8% on the USD pair. We'll round up to 50,000 sats, down 1.1%. 772, 171 ETH, down 0.2. Market cap, one-fourth of one billy. 24-hour trading volume is down a little bit. We're at one milli. Shark supply, 15. Total supply, 100 mil. We know that's going to change. And as you can see, the price is starting to creep below my fair price of less than or more than 69 percent off so we're at 64.66 percent still a really good deal i mean if you were looking around the steam store and you saw your favorite game for 64 percent off i'm sure you would buy right now financial advice let's take a look at the ether scan real quick we are about to be hitting 15k holders up 0.013 percent let's take a look at the charts here so we got the one hour degen hours so right now in terms of price we are trading bearish and the reason why is because we are trading below VWAP, which is $14.66. It's looking like the bears have taken control temporarily of the market, and we are going to be trading bearish. Right now, the 50-day is acting as resistance, and we are well above the 200-day at $13.97. So let's see. When? What's, what's today's date? The 28th. So we... Let's see, EMA ribbons are still bullish, which is good, but that may or may not change. So on the 28th at 12 a.m., here we go, 12 a.m., price action actually was bullish. But then we took a small dump here, and we tried to rally back up to our local resistance here of 1479, but we got rejected and now we are below VWAP and it's acting as resistance as well as the 50 day at 1464. So we have two levels of resistance here that we need to break through the 50 day at 1464 and the VWAP resistance at 1466. More than likely, it may or may not. Mm, you know, I'll just remain bullishly neutral. We may break through VWAP resistance. But then we also have our local resistance here at 1479 that we would have to contend against as well as our pivot high for the day at 1492. I definitely have confidence in the Legionnaires. If not, you know, we'll probably just we'll probably just ping pong within this within this trading range here of let's see what the spread is. I'm just gonna keep it simple. Support and resistance level two. 0.34% spread, really not much. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, I'd probably just mark it by not financial advice. We did fall all the way low to this pivot low of 14.15. Should that collapse, of course, we have the 200 day here at 13.97. So let's take a look at, I don't know if you guys can hear my TV in the background. I, I've been getting, I've been getting into defiance again. An incredible underrated sci-fi television show on the sci-fi channel i think this was one of the first shows to come out on sci-fi when they rebranded to that stupid sy fy instead of science fi right science fiction so good show very good show i love the production the makeup you know what i'm saying it looks really really good interesting story too bad the MMO sucked, but you know that's another that's another thing. So we can see here that we have a high level Eye of Sauron at 72. That's been the raid boss we've been trying to beat here, and we've failed multiple times. Still on bearish divergences, they're everywhere. We failed at 24. 
level three, 36, looking like the highest level that we tried to go up is 36. And we've just been on a bearish divergence. Stochastics are starting to point on up. It's looking like Lux wants to post a local bottom. And should it do that, then we would meet it here for the for the bullish divergence. Oops. For the bullish divergence. Uh, and as far as money flow is concerned, we are on a downtrend. But, you know, I'll give it four hours just to see. VWAP is on an uptrend. We will see. And since VWAP is going on an uptrend, we may or may not claim that VWAP resistance. So let's take a look real fast at our two-day. Just want to see what the hell is happening here. Take a look at money flow. So we did top locally on the money flow five days ago, four days ago, 23rd. I'll remain bullishly neutral. As far as this momentum wave goes, it may pull one of these and just continue to move sideways like that. And as you can see, if we were to do a pattern like that, it would bring us all the way out into late June, pretty much well into sundress season we will see again we will see what uncle jerome has to say so bullishly neutral on the money flow should we go down we do have this local bottom here identified on the third that could catch it and possibly create the bullish divergence so we've just been posting pink days we have what eight hours left close to eight hours left to close email ribbons are still fanned out in bullish well above the 50-day and the 290, which is fantastic. Good bullish continuation. We did have a bearish signal there, but we've dominated that with two two-day candles. And my little drawing here seems to be on track. We are ahead of it. This is a more conservative approach, but it's looking like we are ahead of it. I need to create a new golden pocket area for us to track and see where it's going with the two day, but we can see here, we just have this healthy uptrend. We've just broken through three levels of resistance and we're just starting to climb higher. And you know, again, guys, we're, we're still about 10 to 11 months left until the BTC halving. So there's plenty of time to accumulate your favorite coins. You know, obviously Lux is one of them. Uh, we're still on track in terms of BTC having, so keep that in mind. And you know, guys, I mentioned this before in my Discord, I will not complain if we start running up early ahead of schedule. You know what I'm saying? In fact, it would create a really cool compounding effect. Imagine if we start running up and then on top of that, we, we, we get the having next March two quarters in or maybe a quarter and a half. We're in sundress season, full blown. They're everywhere, and we just start running up, right, into the bull market of 2025. I know it sounds really easy, and it's just hard to believe, but BTC has done it four times already. You know what I'm saying? Oh, or wait, is this this is going to be the fourth time? But yeah, we've, we've been through three cycles already, and it's just like clockwork. It's fucking code, right? You cut the supply of something in half, it'll get more valuable, right? It just takes time for that to hit our market. And because we're in crypto, it's accelerated. So I, I generally timeline it a quarter or two because post BTC having, we always start to heat up towards midsummer, late summer or early fall. And we just start, we just start, you know? So keep that in mind. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we could get some pullbacks. Also, this all depends on what Uncle Jerome has to say on the third. Should he be dovish and we start firing up the printers again, midsummer, late summer, or possibly this holiday season, 2024 is probably going to cook. So yeah, anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day and your weekend. Spend it outside, you know what I'm saying? Not in the charts. Get, get some sun or what, what do they usually say? Go out and touch grass. I don't know. Don't, don't do that unless if it's freshly cut. 
because you know you don't want to get bit by a fucking tick or something because i think like if you get bit by a tick you get that what is that lyme disease and in some extreme cases you can't eat meat or steak horrible absolutely horrible anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed it i'm gonna see you guys in the next one later